now we enter into this discussion on mismatch what is mismatch i assume all of you know at least this what is mismatch Uh, due to process variations during the fabrication, there will be a mismatch between uh, two different cells in the memory. Hmm. Or it can be even in the IOs. Hmm. Any two devices, even if they are designed of, to be of the same size in terms of W by L, everything, even then, just by the virtue of, of the fabrication process being a normal process, there will be some mismatches between devices. This can appear as a variation in cell current, this can appear as a variation in leakage, this can appear as a variation in for SRAM cell in terms of static noise margin or write margin and so on. The impact of variation on static noise margin and write margin, we looked at it in much detail when we were designing the memory set. Am I right? So today what we are going to look at is we saw that there is such a huge impact that can happen. But why does it happen? Why do, like, what are the sources of mismatch? And then as a designer, why is this discussion important? Because if you understand what are the sources of mismatch, you can then attempt to manage this mismatch in one way or another. So what we'll be doing now is we'll be reviewing the material. So I will be reviewing some parts, some slides of a tutorial that was given way back in 2006. Uh, in in a design automation conference in DAC 2006, it was given by Synopsys. And it's a very, very exhaustive tutorial. The slides are available online. I will also share the slides with all of you on Classroom. Uh, but I wanted to, I want to cover a few of those slides which are very important for, for memory design, for memory designers in the class. So that is what we will be doing now. Is that okay? So you will get the access to full tutorial. I expect you to study the entire tutorial, but I'm in the class, I will go through the most important aspects of sources of mismatch. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So this is what I said. It's a tutorial from DAC 2006 by uh, Synopsys. So, when we talk of mismatch or when we talk of variations, we need to understand that there are two primary kinds of variations, random and systematic. So what are random variations? Random variations are variations which are intrinsic in nature. They are kind of global variations. Huh? They, they will appear uh, whatever you may do. Uh, whatever you may do, those intrinsic variations will appear. Process variations, again, uh, the global variations or, for example, the, uh, the we, we discussed about it, you know, because of which we get SF lot or SS lot or TT lot, gate oxide thickness, the entire wafer, the gate oxide thickness is different, is, is a little higher, is a little lesser. That will mean that this is a global effect. And then there are pseudo variations, which are uh, which are event dependent. That is, for example, there could be dynamic IR drop, hmm? or there could be uh, a temperature gradient in a chip, due to which these variations can happen. Okay. Uh, systematic variations are something like WP that we discussed. Hmm? We discussed WP in the last class. So systematic variations are those kind of variations. Systematic variations are also these kind of variations where you can, basically the, the difference between random and systematic is, is that uh, for systematic variations, you can model them. Model them means you can reasonably accurately model them. And then you can simulate and see the impact of them on your exact device. Random variations, you can only statistically model them and you can see the statistical impact only. You cannot really see the exact impact of uh, random variations. Okay, so 
that is where we say that over here we have put in this concept of we can model these variations and and see what what impact they can bring about okay this for example is an example of systematic variation you made a layout like this you know what your process is in the sense what are your resolution enhancement techniques that you are using in your system since you are aware of those resolution enhancement techniques you can already make a simulator and find out that okay my gate would actually gate region would actually be like this instead of this okay in in so what do you do now to improve the situation to correct the situation you can relax the design rules you can say that okay the uh, these two structures cannot be so close together we have to increase the spacing between these two structures and so on as you would do that you will see that your design becomes more and more uh, aligned to what you wanted it to be now this for example is a simulation of the poly lines when you draw them like this and uh, these circles have been put there to identify and tell you those places where there is a lack of fidelity where there is some challenge and you see there are there are issues like necking there are issues like line and pull back there are issues like non matching transistor gates and so on hmm so for example over here it appears that these two gates were meant to be matched they share the same active area but look at the right side the image on the right side shows that they have different length finally are you able to see this the length here and the length here is different are you able to see this so length i mean of the right gate it is bigger right because it is extending to the other ray diffusion also so we are looking at the gate region uh, we are looking at only the gate region not outside the gate region only above the diffusion layer in this case the diffusion layer would be something like this if i just draw it it would be something like this and you see that the uh, that the length of these two devices is different in this region it has also been circled there the thickness sir the thickness sir the thickness of the poly which means length of the device yes. okay okay yes sir yeah hmm. ha na the thickness of the poly means length of the device na yes sir yes so it is different so it means these two devices which are supposed to have the same same length and same width would now actually have different characteristics am i right so can you please repeat the statement so <clears throat> these two devices that are marked with that arrow on the left side they have same width and same length yes sir now look at the right side due to various effects like line pull back due to necking due to whatever so many different because the polys have been designed in such a way that they have different poly to active spacing they have different contact paths they have so many differences amongst them yes sir. are you able to see this so yes, what sir. is fabricated finally on that od that will be drawn you will see that the the width of the poly that is the length of the device is going to be different okay yes and this is not a random variation when you made this layout i can anticipate that this is going to happen are you able to see this this is not a random variation when you make the layout you can tell that this is going to happen uh sir actually i had to ask one thing sir ki jo uh, right side wali jo aap dikha rahe hain that is a simulation of the this left side layout kind yes, of yes that's a simulation it... of how the poly would finally turn out 
okay so even before manufacturing able to see this kind of you can okay. you can yes even before manufacturing there are mod, there are simulators that can model your resolution enhancement techniques that can model your process and that can give you this kind of a view okay so but uh, i'm not able to understand like how it is different because in intrinsic you said that ki uh, in random we have intrinsic and pseudo hmm uh, the ye yeah, random exactly. nahi hai these are systematic variations so but in random me wo uh, kya the same hai ek minute these are systematic variations let us first get this right is that clear okay. these are systematic variations so don't confuse them with random i have not started with random yet okay so uh, these are random because you can model them or these are systematic because we can model them yeah, this is systematic because we can model them yes we can model them exactly i can tell you that is is may left device will have a faster or more current than the right device whatever because i can always say this through this modeling simulation that i did these are systematic variations uh-huh. random variations would be for example as we will look at in in the next few slides doping variations there could be more more uh, dopant atoms in under one gate than the other and that is what is random you cannot model it you cannot say that everything else is matched even then uh, device one will be faster than device two in some samples device one will be faster and some samples device two will be faster but with systematic variation just like well proximity effect you can say oh this device is close to the n well so this is going to be slower is it not so these are systematic variations okay so one doubt mm mm-hmm. mhm uh in the sir you said that was the simulation of the layout so sir the information obtained about the that necking or whatever effects these are provided on the basis of experience by the foundry right and optics simulations deepak yeah okay okay finally okay. it is all optics you know which wavelength is to be used you know the material you know everything you have to model it what sir you said that i know exactly if the right one or the left one would have the narrower length so that kind of uh, prediction i was just wondering how it can be you know explained logically i was not able to uh, like uh, understand why would uh, how can look you... at it yeah let us look at that layout hmm? in this layout uh, do you see that the spacing between poly and active is changing sir left one yeah and the layout yeah. left one you see the spacing between poly and active is changing yes sir you can see that ha huh? so what that what does that mean that when the finally the device will be made there will be bending the bending of poly will happen earlier for the left device and later for the right device right, right sir right yeah. okay. then you see that the poly pad the the contact pad is closer to the in the left device than the right device so you see there are so many things yes. that are evident in the layout itself yes 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 when you run the optics simulation it will give you that it would say that, okay the necking will happen here mm-hmm. rounding off will happen here line pullback will happen here yes okay got got this the differences are evident and and to avoid these differences you make structurally matched layouts when you will design your sense amplifiers whichever teams will start work on sense amplifiers you will be expected to do a uh, common centroid layouts with structural matching even on the metal lines yes not just yes. on devices yes sir okay so that such impact systematic variations are completely done away with there is no systematic offset in your sense amplifier even yes, if it sir. takes a little extra area we will do it okay uh, 